Have you ever stopped to question the authenticity of your memories? How much of your past is truly as you remember it and how much is a tale you've woven for yourself? Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey into the depths of our minds and emotions. We'll uncover the hidden powers of memory, the profound impact of our emotions, and the transformative strategies that can lead us to personal growth and freedom. Our memory, a trait we rely on daily, is not as infallible as we might think. It shapes our reality for better or worse, guiding the decisions we make and the paths we tread. But what if I told you that you have the power to reshape your reality? That by mastering your memories and emotions, you can unlock an extraordinary potential for personal transformation. Stay with us as we explore how to break free from the chains of past memories and emotional responses, crafting a future filled with hope, joy, and boundless possibilities. Together we'll learn not just to navigate the complex landscape of our inner selves, but to master it. Are you ready to transform your life? Let's begin this journey of discovery, healing, and growth. Welcome to Quantum Mind. Conscious thoughts, repeated often enough, become unconscious thinking. Dr. Joe Dispenza. Memories. They shape our identity, our relationships, our decisions. But how reliable are they, really? Recent research reveals a startling truth. Much of what we remember might not have happened exactly as we think. Our memories aren't just recordings of the past, they're reconstructions, influenced by our current feelings, beliefs, and even the stories we've been told. This isn't to say all memories are false, rather, it's a reminder of their malleability. Each recall can alter a memory, sometimes enhancing it, other times distorting it. Understanding this can be liberating. It means we have the power to change our narrative, to reshape our past in a way that serves our present and future better. But with this power comes a responsibility. The responsibility to question, to reflect, and to choose which memories we allow to define us. As we journey through life, we should strive to fill our memory bank with moments of clarity, joy, and purpose. We should become architects of our own story, building a foundation that supports who we wish to become. Our journey through memory brings us to a crucial crossroad, the realm of our emotions. How do these feelings tied so closely to our memories shape the world we live in? Emotions are the language of the body, while thoughts are the language of the mind. When these two are in conflict, we find ourselves bound unable to move forward. You see, our emotions and where we place our attention have a profound influence on our personal power. When we're caught in a cycle of negative emotions, it's like being stuck in quicksand. The more we struggle, the deeper we sink. But what if we could lower the volume on these negative emotions? What if we could shift our attention elsewhere? The key to liberation lies in understanding the bond between the mind and body. Our negative emotions, fear, anger, sadness, are often amplified by our attention to them, yet by consciously shifting our focus, we can break free. It's about lowering the volume on our negative emotions, not by force but through gentle awareness and redirection. This doesn't just change how we feel, it changes the energy we bring into our lives. Imagine reclaiming that energy, focusing it on creating joy, gratitude and love. This isn't just an emotional shift, it's a transformation of our very being, paving the way for a future unbound by the past. This path isn't easy. It challenges us to confront and release long-held patterns. But the rewards, freedom, growth, and a deeper connection to ourselves are immeasurable. We've navigated the murky waters of memory and taken the first steps towards emotional freedom. Now let's explore how embracing elevated emotions can not only transform our inner world, but also our outer reality. Elevated emotions. Gratitude, joy, love, inspiration. These aren't just positive feelings, they're powerful catalysts for change, capable of transforming our brain and body, aligning us with the future we desire. Practicing gratitude, for example, does more than make us feel good. It rewires our brain, strengthens our immune system, and brings us into a state of coherence where our heart and mind beat as one. This isn't about ignoring the challenges or the pain, it's about choosing where to place our attention cultivating emotions that uplift and sustain us even in the face of adversity. By consistently choosing gratitude, love, and joy, we're not just changing how we feel, we're sending a signal to the universe, a declaration of our readiness to embrace a new reality. 
Each moment we spend in elevated emotions is a step towards the life we've always imagined. A life where we're not defined by our past but propelled by our vision of the future. Our journey through memory and emotion has prepared us for the most exciting step, creating the future we desire. It's here in the garden of possibility that we learn the art of becoming. To create our future we must first be willing to leave the past behind, not to forget it but to no longer let it define us. Instead we anchor ourselves in the vision of what we want to become. This process begins in the mind, with a clear picture of our desired future, but it doesn't end there. To manifest this vision, we must also achieve coherence between our heart and brain, uniting our emotions and thoughts with our intentions. Brain scan research has shown us that when we enter this state of coherence, we're not just imagining a different future, we're actively drawing it towards us, changing our energy to match what we seek, but remember, this isn't about controlling every aspect of our lives, it's about setting a direction, fueled by elevated emotions and then letting go, trusting the journey to unfold as it will. As we stand in this garden of our making, let us remember, we are the architects of our future. With every thought we think, every emotion we feel we are planting seeds for tomorrow. We've explored the power of memory, the liberation of emotions and the creation of our future. But there's one final crucial challenge, overcoming the self. Our greatest obstacle is often ourselves, our habits, our fears, our reluctance to let go of the familiar. It's here, in the quiet of our own minds, that the battle for our future is won or lost. This journey requires courage, patience, and persistence. It's about mastering our cravings, quieting the noise of our minds, and finding peace within the chaos. Meditation, mindfulness, deep reflection, these are our tools. They help us observe our thoughts without attachment, recognize our patterns, and gently steer ourselves towards the person we wish to be. Overcoming the self isn't about denying our nature, it's about embracing it fully, understanding our weaknesses, celebrating our strengths, and growing beyond what we once believed possible. The path to self-mastery is endless but each step is a victory, a moment where we choose who we want to be, over who we were. And in those choices we find freedom, joy and the true essence of life. The journey of self-improvement is a never-ending one, but it's a journey worth embarking on. Our journey today has taken us through the landscapes of memory, emotion and self-transformation. We've discovered that the path to a brighter future lies not in the world around us but within us. We've learned that our memories, while imperfect, offer us a canvas to reinterpret our past, and in doing so, reshape our present and future. We've seen how liberating ourselves from the chains of negative emotions can open us to a world of elevated feelings, gratitude, love, and joy, transforming not just our inner world, but our external reality as well. And we've confronted the ultimate challenge, overcoming ourselves. Through patience, practice, and perseverance, we can master our minds and bodies, stepping into the fullest expression of our being. This journey is ongoing, a process of continuous growth and discovery. There will be challenges, setbacks, but also triumphs and moments of profound joy and fulfillment. As we part ways, remember this. You are the architect of your reality. Every thought, every emotion, and every action shapes the world you live in. Embrace this power, nurture it, and let it guide you towards the life you've always imagined.